the tip broke off. <laughs> I can't get it, man. God, this motherfucker don't want to go. I'm gonna have to take this to the shop. I can't do it, man. Well, I didn't give up. The very next day, I did some research, figured out my errors, got cracked into it again, and actually even came up with a trick to do it easier. Like I told you, Cycle Cruiser doesn't give up, man. <laughs> I had to get this tire on this rim, and I did. I was successful. Actually, because I was so rough trying to install that tire on the rim for my very first time, I damaged the bead on the tire, which caused a leak. Here we go, we got two pops. I think we got a leak here though. I uh, screwed it up. See here, air bubbles. It's not gonna hold air, guys. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take this tire off and put on a new one, but with my lessons learned and new tricks gained, I'm gonna show you how to easily change a motorcycle tire and also balance it as well. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today hey if you missed part three making tubeless supermoto wheels go check it out okay now to take off the tire you're going to need a couple of tools you're going to need the i would recommend these motion pro uh b breaker and spoon combo these are awesome and of course these uh rim protectors so you don't scratch up your rims first things go ahead and do this with soapy water here I like soapy water because I don't like chemicals. I don't like dealing with Windex, it stinks. So what we're gonna do is stick this here, this piece here, up underneath there. And stick this piece up on top of it like that. And then you press down to break it. this in a couple of spots punch down on it with your knuckles all right see how easy that was now do the other side now just go ahead and put the rim protector in place I have four of them. I like to have more than one, one, more than two. Some people just use two, but I like all four. Use the other side here. See, the other side's got a scoop on it. Stick the scoop in there and lift it out. There we go. Then just go ahead and pull the rest of that side up with your hands. Next, put the rim protector in place and then take the spoon and pull up an edge from the other side. Then lift it up and pull it off using your knee. Okay, now let's put on a tire the easy way. Yeah, here's the tire. You want to make sure you put it on the right direction. It has an arrow there, rotation. Okay, so that's the correct side. There's a dot there where you're going to line that up with the uh, valve stem. I'm going to spray some soapy water here on the bead. Now let's go ahead and put this on the rim. Put all your body weight on there. There we go. Then go ahead and lube up the bead real good with the soapy water. Lube this up real good here. The trick that I learned to make the tire go on easy is using two bead buddies, which I'll include links to in the description and comment section of this video along with everything else. Then put your rim protectors in place, use your spoons, and pull down a few sides and put your bead buddies in place. Okay, take this on. Okay, put the bead buddy 
to hold down that section. I tell you, these rim shields come in handy, man, so you don't mess up the finish. Put the other bead buddy in place and then go ahead and move that other bead buddy over to the other side. Make sure to keep that bead lubed. And then take the tail end of the rim protector and stick it in that gap that's left over. Put the spoon in there, lift up, and the tire's on the rim. Bada boom, bada bang. There we go. Bam. Easy. Hey, these rim shields are awesome, man. Not a single scratch on the rim. Amazing. All right. Take this off. <clears throat> There we go, bam, by the boom, by the bang. Here's a few tips for you. Use knee pads and heavy duty gloves to avoid having a real fucked up day. Make sure to try and keep the opposite side of the tire in the lowest part of the rim to avoid failing like I did. Keep the bead lubed with soapy water. If you're forcing too much, you're doing it wrong and can ruin a new tire like I did. Don't waste money having a shop do it. Do it yourself. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Okay, now let's air up the tire and set the bead. Okay, now for the moment of truth. To see if the beads will set. We'll go ahead and spray some, some lube here to help that bead set in easier. Okay, do it on this side too. Note, make sure to put the valve core back in if you took it out. And when you fill the tire with air, you'll hear two pops signaling the bead has set in on both sides. Bam! Rear wheel tire is installed, baby. Okay, now let me show you how easy it is to balance the wheels. Before you balance the wheel, you wanna make sure to take off existing wheel weights. And you're gonna use this tool here to scrape it off. I'll include a link to get this tool in the description and comment section of this video. Okay, now to balance the wheels, you're gonna need a few items. You're gonna need a wheel balance stand, some wheel weights, some rubbing alcohol, some tape. Links are in the description and comment section of this video to get these items. For the wheel balance stand, you wanna make sure it's level and it has the level indicator there and you can adjust it by uh, unscrewing or screwing the feet underneath the wheel balance stand. First step, go ahead, just do a slight turn of the wheel and where it settles the six o'clock position will be the heaviest part and you're going to mark the lightest part of the wheel at the 12 o'clock position with some tape and with some tape i'm going to go ahead and put four of the quarter ounce weights here at the top here just peel it back slightly the film there so you can stick it to the wheel okay now i'm going to go ahead take the wheel to the nine o'clock position and let it go and see where it goes. So what's rising, it's not enough weight. So I have to add more weight. If it were sinking, I would have to take off some weight. We'll put on another quarter ounce weight here. Another one here. Okay. Take it to the nine o'clock position. Let it go. Just slightly rising. Okay, we'll put an eighth ounce weight on there. Okay, take it to the nine o'clock position here and let it go. Perfect. So we got four quarter ounce weights and one eighth ounce weight. So now I'll go ahead and take these weights off here 
and we'll go ahead and clean the rim with the rubbing alcohol so that the weights will stick. And I'm gonna put them as close as I can to the center. And you can go ahead and secure it with some, some duct tape. So once it's balanced, you can pretty much put it anywhere and it won't move. So if I put it over here to three o'clock position, doesn't move, okay, here, doesn't move. Now you just balance the other wheel the same exact way. Make sure to stay tuned for the next episode in this build series where I'll install these tubeless Warp 9 Supermoto wheels on my street legal 2019 Yamaha YZ450 FX. And if you missed the previous build episodes, I'll include the video links in the description and comment section of this video, including the one where I turned this into a street legal motorcycle. But if for those of you guys that always ask me about my motorcycle gear, you know, my camel pants, my boots, gloves, helmets, jackets, everything, I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos, or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, my gear, and those are a bunch of links to all of my gear and stuff. And if you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, my videos, and those are a bunch of playlists with my over 1200 plus videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to navigate through and hopefully find something that that will inform you or entertain you. Hey, hit thumbs up, share this video, comment. Really helps my videos and my channel helps me get motivated to do more videos. And that's why I do these videos. I love communicating with you guys and, and talking with you. Subscribe to my All of a Motorcycle channel and also go check out my other channel. Bug out Moto! It showcases a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods and that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything bug out moto. As a courtesy I included two video playlists, one for new riders and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders and also my popular videos playlist. Hey. Hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.